We might not know the universe's birthday, but we can figure out its age. The universe is basically a stray cat in that regard. But it's been a long road, it's been a long road. to figure this stuff out, and the science is fascinating, so let's talk about it. The story begins in 1917 with Vesto Slipher, the first astronomer to notice that distant galaxies appeared redshifted. He inferred, via the Doppler effect, that they were moving away from us. Then, in 1929, using the Cepheid variable stars of Henrietta Leavitt, Edwin Hubble concluded that the speed these galaxies seem to be zooming away at is proportional to how far away they are. This is now known as Hubble's Law, although apparently it was first discovered by Georges Lemaitre two years prior. While his measurements at the time left something to be desired, the effect remains. Further galaxies recede faster. And if you wind the clock back enough, it all ends up at a point. A big bang. The faster the galaxies recede, the younger the universe is. By the 1950s, we had better numbers. If a galaxy was 3.2 million light years away, then it was moving away at somewhere between 50 and 100 kilometers per second. Running the calculations under the assumption that this relationship always holds, we can figure out how old the universe must be. At the low end of this range of values, we find that the universe is around 20 billion years old, and around 10 billion years old at the higher end. But that can't be the full story, because gravity makes the expansion a bit more complicated. In the early, denser universe, gravity should have slowed the expansion. So to properly handle this, we turn to a model of the universe that takes gravity into account, the FLRW model, named after Friedman, Lemaitre, Robertson, and Walker. In the original version of this model, three pieces of data are needed. The current measured Hubble constant, the amount of matter in the universe, and the shape of the universe. To measure the total amount of matter and the shape of the universe, it turns out that the Big Bang's afterglow, the cause of microwave background radiation, is quite handy. Both of those pieces of data can be obtained by figuring out which parameters best fit the distribution of hot and cold spots in the CMBR. And so, if that was the full story, we'd have our answer. Using the current measurements of the Hubble constant, we'd find that the universe is about 9.7 billion years old. But then, in 1998, by looking at supernovas across the universe, it was discovered that the universe's expansion was accelerating, something that just couldn't be if the only reason it was expanding in the first place was from the inertia of the Big Bang. And so, dark energy was discovered, perhaps a cosmological constant. This is a fourth piece of data that can be plugged into the FLRW model. Intuitively, because dark energy makes the expansion speed up in the late universe, it implies that it was slower in the earlier universe. That, in turn, meant that it must have spent longer getting to the current size, so the presence of dark energy results in a universe being older than we thought. Putting all of that together, we get about 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang. But the jury is still out. Was that really the beginning? Or was it just a special moment in the universe's eternal life?